Okay, so this is where we left in part 4 of our tutorial series. Although I'm quite happy with what we have achieved so far, I'm pretty sure we can take it a step further and better integrate, or rather I would say, blend those two cars. Okay, so let's select all our layers by pressing A while holding Ctrl A on PC. And then we precompose our layers to make it one piece of footage to address this issue. Okay, so we can do it uh, two ways. We can simply right click our mouse and choose precompose, and then in the dialog window, name our layer, let's say, car front full. Or we can use the default keyboard shortcut, which on PC is uh, Control Shift uh, plus C. And I'm pretty convinced that this is one of those uh, key keyboard shortcuts that is worth actually memorizing. Then we press OK, and in the effects panel we choose the effect liquify. We set two initial keyframes for the distortion percentage, and we set both of those keyframes to zero. We place one keyframe at the very beginning of where the transition happens, and one keyframe just after the transition happens. Okay, and then we go somewhere in the middle, somewhere in between those two keyframes, and increase the distortion percentage to 100%. Okay, and uh, in the available tools, we choose the twill tool, and let's maybe modify the brush size, and let's say change it to 60%. We make it a little bit, we make it quite big, but obviously not too big. And then we press and hold in a few places to blend those two layers quite nicely. As you can see, once I scrub the playhead, we can see that the blend is increasing and then decreasing towards uh, this uh, the other keyframe. I think that, to be honest, 100% is a little bit too heavy, so maybe we reduce it. But again, it's a matter of taste and uh, simply the footage you are working with. Okay, so let's compare now the transition with and without the liquify effect. I think this effect makes a huge difference and at this stage I'm pretty confident that there's nothing more we can do with this footage. I think this is complete. So what I would do, I would simply recommend rendering this piece and we can do it two ways. We can set a proxy to that or just render and bring it back to After Effects. And uh, all we we'll have to remember is just to render this to QuickTime uh, file with uh, alpha and we set alpha as in the previous episodes to straight and that's it.